Okay, so my goats have been escaping again, um, not where they were last time, now on the front here, because they know that the electric fence isn't working very well. Uh, I don't, I'm supposed to have um, four red bars and then it's supposed to shoot up to four um, green bars. That means I have full strength. And I've like this morning only had one red bar. Um, so it's been hot and kind of gross weather and I didn't, I, it's on a hill and there's thistles and I, I hate, um, doing this job but uh, oh <laughs> I still it's actually raining um it was cloudy when I went out there to do this um but I'm looking for anywhere where the fence might be touching the ground or touching uh, a metal t-post or somewhere where I'm losing um voltage but um I still have a problem I can't figure it out um, and the goats, I, so I did put snow fence around the area where they have been climbing out the most of. They ate, they came all the way around the barn and ate my hydrangea bushes. I just planted them last fall. They're not dead, but ah, so frustrating. Um, so yeah, I think I have to ask Bob and we're gonna have to walk the whole fence again and see. I can't figure out what is wrong with my fence. Arg.
what I love about sunflowers is how bright and cheery they are. And sometimes when I don't have um, enough other flowers, I bring extra sunflowers if I have them to fill my booth and make it look um, colorful for longer. So this is more, I think I'm preparing more sunflowers than I need for market this week, but there was a lot blooming um, and I am low on some of my other flowers still. So I'm just gonna bring some extra buckets even if I don't sell them. Um, I grow uh, five, I'm growing five varieties right now. Um, the Sunrich um, variety family, Sunrich family, I, I like the orange, the lemon, and the gold. Um, they're just great sunflowers. They get nice strong stems usually if they're growing well. Um, they stay straight and tall in the vase. Um, I just, I don't know, I just like them. And then um, last year I started, I, I go back and forth with the Pro Cuts. This is a uh, white night. Isn't it pretty? I like the white petal, especially earlier in the summer. And I like the dark center. I don't like the bendy stem. Um, when I cut it, it's straight, and then in the vase, it likes to go all over. And sometimes I feel like a customer thinks that it's old or, yeah, it's just what it does, uh, for me at least. Sunrich, nice and tall. Pro Cut, so many fun colors in the Pro Cut series, but woo, bendy. So I am doing though, because I still like the white, uh, white night, and then I also this year added in white light. Isn't that fun? I love it in bouquets. Bouquets, and it's better because usually it can prop up against other things. So anyways, first thing I do when I market prep is go through all my sunflower buckets that I cut all week and I bunch them into bunches. I usually only put paper on the white ones because they're so bendy. Um, otherwise, I just bunch them in fives and elastic buckets and off to market they go. So welcome to Jen's segment on weeding uh, this week. I was like, let's see if we can get this bed weeded. It's where my raspberries, eucalyptus, and uh, lysianthus plants are. So my daughter is on the lysianthus, um, her choice, which is great. I'm gonna join her and help her. And I opted for this end where the weeds were bigger, but because we've had so much rain the last few weeks, they're pulling out very easily. And with the mulch that we added, um, there's not nearly as much weeds in here. Um, the eucalyptus that overwintered, I, I love it. It's so awesome. I wish I had more rows of it. So I'm gonna try again next year. The one variety that is hardier is definitely larger and I have less of uh, the other two varieties. But um, yeah, so I filled in the gaps. We're gonna try again to see if we can overwinter. The baby eucalyptus I put in is super tiny still. They're not growing as well as last year. So I have to think through what I did um, differently and what I can improve on there but they're still alive we'll see how big they get by September on the raspberries half of them survived and half didn't not sure why um, but I'm actually happy with what they look like compared to all the other years I've tried they're green I, I only have like a couple that came up and then died back which is what usually happens um, but I don't see too much um, browning of the leaves so I'll just fill in the holes next year and hopefully it takes off and it just becomes a patch now and yeah, so it was like a good week. Uh, the, yeah, at the beginning of the week, there was a lot of rain, but uh, I just darted the storms in and out. Whenever it stopped raining, I ran out and tried to got some work done. We actually missed, uh, some parts in Ontario got dumped on, like record rainfalls, Toronto. I seen some flooding in London. Um, my parents live out that way. And I think um, the one morning they got two and a half inches, my dad said in an hour. Oh, I'm so thankful we didn't get that. Um, we got, I actually don't know what we got in total. I didn't add it all up. Um, so 
My field is nice and wet, but it's not overly wet. I'm just losing a few dahlias to rot at the ends of the row where the water doesn't drain well. And then the week is ending on gorgeous weather. Oh my goodness, there's like no wind, um, sunny weather. The weather at market was fantastic again, and that just boosts sales. It's hard to predict how much flowers you need every week, but when the weather's that amazing, I wish I had more to bring. Um, yeah, so we got rid of way more of the sunflowers than I thought. I think I only had four bunches left that I gave away um, to my market uh, neighbors at the end. Um, yeah, I was short on the bouquets again, and it's a little bit hard to explain over and over again why I don't have enough flowers right now. But July is just a harder month for me, and it's more so because I'm still um, feeling the effects of the time I spent with the cutworm in April. They're not eating anything anymore, but because I had a, I lost a bunch of annuals that I had newly planted and I had stopped planting because the cutworm were eating, I just don't have the flowers now that should have been planted in April and May. So yeah, so it's hard to explain that to all the customers. They're like, where are all your flowers? So hopefully with this nice weather, things start growing fast. Um, but I also did a few designer orders this week because I still want to keep them happy too. I couldn't help everybody, but we sent out um, a bunch of zinnias and some other pink stuff. So that's good. It was a good week. Uh, I'm just going to get back to the weeding behind me to see if we can get this uh, patch done and then we can move back to the other lisianthus because whoo, lisianthus need a lot of weeding. Um, yeah, I just want to say thanks again for hanging out with me this week and I'll hope to see you again next time. Mm -hmm.